when you are asked to love, that invitation to love will take you to an uh, adventure that you could never imagine. The Holy Father came to visit the sisters in support of their legal fight for religious liberty. They are stepping into the gap the government simply cannot and will not fill. Every time that we keep a man from going back to prison, not only do we see him restored, his family restored, but we eliminate many, many victims in this city of crime. When we're protecting religious liberty for, for anyone, we're protecting it for everyone. The time has come for our military to openly embrace those Sikhs who want to serve our country by removing the rules that presumptively exclude us. We can serve our country and be sick at the same time. A nationwide campus ministry fights back after being booted from Cal State Stanislaus. I don't feel like attending a university should cost me my faith. And I think that we all need to be committed to this idea that America is the land of religious pluralism, and that's a good thing. Faith is our number one thing in our life, and so we had to put that first in our life. And even if that means we were going to lose everything that you know my family's worked for with this company, um, that was okay. Many people do exercise religion when they go to work. People don't say, well, there's something I think is deeply wrong, but I'm doing it for the company, so that's okay. Uh, that's just not the way people approach their lives, at least not most people. The government took the feathers and threatened the pastor with 15 years in jail. I think it all goes back to our spirituality, because in our culture, whoever controls the feather controls the person. I say to my teenagers all the time, because I said so, but the government doesn't get to do that to anyone, particularly when it comes to issues closely associated with human dignity. Now you are winning this battle to keep the phrase under God in the Pledge of Allegiance, which this group was trying to remove. Yes. How do you feel about that? I am ecstatic. I actually couldn't keep a smile off my face when I found out we won. Because the church needs to be able to choose who is going to carry its message to the rest of the world. And religious freedom is not dead in America. These are still issues that courts are not only willing to take seriously, but they're willing to defend. And that gave me hope. It gave me real hope.